How's it going everyone? Welcome back. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about Nord's double VPN specialty servers. So I decided to make this video to show you guys how this feature actually works and when you should use it. Not only that, but I'll briefly go over some of the other specialty servers and security features so that you can have a solid idea of how these things work and how you should use them. Now, I won't go into too much detail as I want to make this video rather short. So if you'd like to know more about Nord, you'll find an in-depth review in the description down below. And if you're considering getting yourself a Nord subscription, you'll also find a special discount code there as well. All right, so starting with double VPN, it's basically an advanced security feature that routes your connection through two VPN servers instead of one. So once you establish a double VPN connection, your online activity will be encrypted twice, and you'll essentially be hiding behind two VPN servers instead of one. Now, do you really need to use this feature? Well, probably not in most cases, since Nord servers are secure enough as is, and you can rest assured that no one would be able to intercept your data and snoop on your activity. That said, if you're in a censorship heavy country or a whistleblower, and you wanna make sure that your data is absolutely safe, then this feature combined with the kill switch would make sure that your activity is protected by the highest level of security and is twice as difficult to be intercepted. Now, when you wanna to connect to an obfuscated server, all you have to do is click on obfuscated servers in the specialty servers, and this opens the drop-down menu of all the countries available for double VPN. Here, I would normally recommend you choose the closest country to you, since the shorter the distance is between you and the server, the faster your connection is gonna be. However, if you already have a server in mind that you want to connect to, then by all means, choose that server. Okay, so once you're connected, you're going to notice on the top left corner, it shows that you're connected to two servers. One is the server of your choice, and the other is usually a server in a nearby country. All right, so this is basically everything you need to know about double VPN. Now, let me quickly go over the other specialty servers so you can have an idea of when and where you should use them. Starting with obfuscated servers, these are specialized VPN servers that hide the fact that you're using a VPN to reroute your traffic, and they allow you to connect to a VPN even in heavily restrictive environments. Basically speaking, when you connect to a regular VPN server, your ISP can't see where you go online, but it knows that you're using a VPN from the way your data looks. However, if you connect to an obfuscated server, it changes your data packets so that the tools that are meant to block VPN traffic will let it pass. And an example of where this could come in handy would be schools and workplaces with a lot of network firewalls. And this could also be very useful in heavy censorship countries where even using a VPN could cause you trouble by your ISP. Okay, moving on to Onion over VPN specialty servers. These ones offer an extra layer of security by combining the anonymity of the Onion network with the protection of a VPN. When you use these servers, your internet traffic is encrypted and routed through multiple layers of servers, making it nearly impossible to trace. Plus, since NordVPN hides your real IP address from the start, you're safe even if some Onion servers are compromised. It's a powerful way to stay anonymous and secure online. Next, you're gonna have the peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers, which are optimized for secure and fast file sharing through torrenting. These servers allow you to share large files over the internet with enhanced privacy and speed. That said, you don't really need these servers since Nord's normal servers are perfectly fine for torrenting. It's just an extra thing that's nice to have. And last but not least, you've got dedicated servers, which would give you an IP address that only you can use. This would make sure that you have high speed and private access to the server, especially when you need a stable and exclusive connection for your online activities. However, keep in mind that this is a paid add-on and you won't get this with your regular Nord subscription. Now, jumping over to some powerful security features you should know about, you've got the kill switch, which would automatically sever your internet connection should you accidentally disconnect from the VPN server. And by doing this, it would make sure that none of your data would be accidentally leaked over to your ISP or anyone else snooping on your connection. And as an added bonus, you'll also get an app kill switch, which would shut down selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN server instead of severing your whole connection. You also get the split tunneling feature, which allows you to choose which applications go through the VPN tunnel and which ones use your regular connection. And just to give you an example, you can have your torrenting app be protected by the VPN connection, while the rest of your applications use your regular internet connection. Besides that, you've got threat protection, which acts as a mini antivirus, as it blocks ads, trackers, and malware-ridden websites while you're browsing the internet. And it also monitors your downloads to make sure that you're not accidentally downloading any malware. You've also got the dark web monitor that scans the dark web for your personal information and alerts you once it finds anything so you can take quick action. And last but not least, you have custom DNS, which as the name implies, allows you to set your own DNS server. And this would help you avoid DNS leaks and potentially speed up your internet connection. And that's pretty much it for all these security features available with NordVPN. Now you know what each of these features does and when you can use them. And if you'd like to know more about NordVPN with regards to privacy policy, speed, streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find an in-depth review in the description down below. And that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the discount link in the description to save some money on your NordVPN subscription. 
Besides that, like and subscribe to see more of these videos, and let me know in the comments if there's anything cybersecurity you'd like me to cover. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.